since its beginning, Dronomics has actually worked hard to have a high level of security. We started off with uh, U-Track tickets that would document all of our change requ uh, changes within the company as well. Um, we had processes in place to track everything. And we also had a very long set of documentation for uh, security, permission settings, what roles there were, accesses, um, what passwords people could use, etc. But then in uh, 2014, Dronomics decided to take the step for ISO certification. ISO, Information Organization for Standardization. This is actually an international federation of organizations and companies that simply define processes and standards so that you can certify individuals and as well as companies and prove that they are meeting those standards, security standards, organizational standards, et cetera, et cetera. So the 27000, 27,000 uh, set of standards are just standards for information security, meaning that there are specific standards for general information security. There are specific standards for cloud-based services, for cybersecurity, for even for AI. And uh, that's actually one of the most dynamic um, sections that are going on right now. So AI is really um, taking shape now and new laws are coming up. So it's a really interesting and dynamic place to be. Information security is actually an ongoing process, this process that uh, needs to be continuously evaluated, uh, looked at, and actually one of the most important points is the measurement. So Dronomics has been working together with a consultant company um, to define what our KPIs are, what our key performance indicators are, and to define our security um, process, basically. And one of the aspects about that is to have this ISMS, or Information Security Management System. It's nothing more than a framework that we've set up. Um, there are lots of examples out there, but every ISMS needs to be directly um, formulated so that it applies to the company. And that includes things like a change management process. It includes uh, checking user permission settings. It includes a whole bunch of different small steps. And actually, most companies do this, but they usually do this in an unstructured format. So uh, Dronomics has simply taken this, structured it over the years, and um, in the next six months, we plan to then go for the internal auditing, the external auditing, and then hopefully uh, we will receive our ISO 27001 certification. Let's talk for a minute about risk reduction and risk management. So a company itself cannot actually completely reduce itself and make itself risk-free. That's not possible. I mean, um, you cannot... Uh, insure yourself against an earthquake, for example, and say we there's no way that an earthquake is going to hit us. Not going to happen. So a lot of consultants and a lot of companies will have in place measures on how to deal with those risks. Um, you can either accept the risk, which is kind of your default if you don't even analyze it. Um, you can take steps to mitigate the risk by adding extra checks and balances, you can simply transfer that risk, um, obtain a, an insurance of some sort, and then that risk itself will be transferred to someone else. A lot of people will say that that works slightly, um, but there's different ways to measure that, of course, but oftentimes you don't get back uh, what you put in. And then, of course, there's um, avoidance, which you can literally pick up the building and move it somewhere. So obviously, Dronomics itself as a company is not going to just pick itself up and move to a different office. But uh, we do have measures in place, for example, to 
um, avoid certain risks and to we have some sort of contingency plans in place. That's all part of the ISO 27001 certification. Definitely, it's expensive. Uh, when you look at it in that way, though, it's probably the wrong way to look at it. So obviously, we've given money out for consultancy. We've given money out for changing the office structure. We've implemented different documentation standards. We've edited documents, et cetera, et cetera. And actually, uh, we have practically a full-time person working, doing different things in relation to the ISO. 27001 certification. However, um, looking at it from the point of a view that it's expensive is actually in exactly the wrong way to look at it. Uh, first of all, you are going to lower risk that you have. And so therefore, when something actually happens, when an event occurs, you're going to be able to react in a way that will get you back online earlier, will get you back into the normal workflow much earlier. And your company itself is going to benefit from that greatly. Um, secondly, you have very good documented processes. So management is going to look at it and have to be confronted with all of these things. And so they are going to be more prepared as well when it comes to changing the company, adapting to company uh, changes itself. Um, when people leave the company, come to the company, things like that are much better defined. And this saves you money in the long run. So these KPIs that I discussed at the beginning are actually part of that, and they should simply be measuring consistently the changes within the company, the progress that's being made. And then with the ISO certification, every three years, you have to have an external auditor. So you're showing what the company does and just proving to the external auditor that you are upholding these standards. And then in the end, if you're doing it properly, you're also saving yourself money because the auditing process is easier.